Yeah, that's it. That's the hair. Pretty much. Hey everyone, so um, day one of the Master Cleanse, I did not do what I said I was going to do today. I slept through my alarm. Um, I didn't consciously see through my alarm, I just, I just, I woke up uh, an hour and a half later to a phone call from someone who's like, where are you? You're supposed to be on this phone call. So, um, I'm just now waking up, I'm going to go out for a run. I don't have a lot of time to do it, but I don't need a lot of time. Um, and I did not prepare my uh, lemonade for the Master Cleanse Day 1. Um, so in the meantime, I have it. I have two Red Bulls left. I'm just going to finish them for the sake of getting my morning started. Um, and, ooh, yeah, looks like some cute guys outside. You know, they're going to build up this condo here. And, like, that's great that this won't be my view anymore. Like, gorgeous view, gorgeous view. Yeah. Um, but... Is that who is this? Is this, a, is this a cute guy walking his dog? Yeah. It, you know, it's hard to tell from here, but like, if you can't tell if someone's cute or not, then just create for yourself that they're cute, and then just stick with it no matter what. Um, anyway, so they're building this condo here, and it's going to be seven stories tall. So I'm imagining that that's going to like come up to like come up to like here. I probably won't be able to see from here down. And I probably, if I want to see people on the street, I'll probably just be able to see them like right here. But I'm guessing from like here over, my view is going to be obstructed. Which kind of sucks, because I love like looking at people on the street walking by, but as long as I can still see them there and still see them there, I'll be happy. Okay, maybe two Red Bulls. That might be my last Red Bull for, like, at least three weeks. Jeez, phone. Let's do this. Here we are, back at it. First run back in a while. All right, that's my, that's my first run. I just realized today's October 1st. I left for Iceland on August 1st, which means it's been like nine or 10 weeks since uh, my last run. In fact, um, I started a 11 or 12 week training program. There's an app you can download on your phone called Pear, P-E-A-R, Pear Sports, or Pear, I think, Fitness Tracker. And you basically tell it which event you're training for. I bought this when I was training for the Ragnar Relay Race in Cape Cod. And the app is like, oh yeah, the Cape Cod Relay Race in May 2016. I know which one you're talking about. I'll help you train for that event. And then like, you plug in the date of the event. And then, well, it knows the date of the event. And then it, it, it creates a plan for you from 12 weeks out. Um, and then you just follow your training run. So basically, after I did that run in May, I decided, why don't I start over again? Why don't I do another 12 weeks training? Um, and so I started that a few months ago, maybe three months ago, and I kept up with it for maybe like two weeks. Um, and then, you know, I went to Iceland, I stopped running. Well, I logged back in today and I noticed that the, uh, the end date for that um, 11, that 12 weeks of training, the end date was September 29th. So had I just stayed with it, had I just kept doing what I was already doing, I would have just completed 12 weeks of training. And 
I can only imagine the shape I'd be in right now. Um, after today's weigh-in, I'm 214.9 pounds. The most I have ever weighed ever, to my knowledge, has been 215. So I'm actually currently at my heaviest. I still look damn good, don't I? But I'm actually currently at my heaviest. And my body fat was pretty much just almost 25%. 25%. Now, I looked at my data, um, and the lowest body fat I have had since I've been weighing myself with the Why Things Body Analyzer Scale, my lowest body fat was like 19, 19%. I think maybe even a tad less than that, but basically 19%. So, that's a Oh, and my weight was apparently down to, no, I think my body fat was down to like 18 or 19 percent, and my weight was down to 190, and that was like not too long ago, actually. I think that was back in like February? No, that was April of last year. So April of 2015, I weighed 25 pounds less than I do right now. And here's the thing, even then, I was like, I was not aware that I was in great shape. I wasn't thinking like, oh yeah, look at me, I'm in great shape. But I was confident, you know, if, uh, if a boy was going to come over for some canoodling, I wasn't like afraid to take my shirt off, you know. Um, so yeah, I mean, all there is to do, you know, I can't get back to that today. But all there is to do is what I've already outlined to do. And so I've already run. Um, and I've already weighed myself. So I'm heading home to prepare my food for the master cleanse. And to take my progress pictures. And my before picture, basically. And to do my, um, my daily habits. So... Game on. Game on. All right, so Michael Heron told me to look at his Snapchat immediately. Yes! Okay, so it is 5 o'clock, and I have already started procrastinating heavily. Um, and what I have not done yet is um, started making my lemonade for the master cleanse. So that has to happen like now. Um, I don't really feel hungry yet, but like, I don't want to test that because in a minute I'm going to be like, screw it, I just need to eat. And today is October 1st, what a better day to start than the first of the month. So I am starting now. I have about an hour and a half. Um, I have a friend coming over at, oh god, already one of them is fucking mold. See, when you buy organic lemons, you can't just leave them sitting around thinking they're all going to stay fine forever. Actually, almost all of these are still good. Two of them are mold. Three of them are moldy. Damn it! Even lemon mold still smells like lemons. Um, I'm baffled that lemons can even go moldy because, like, they're lemons anyway. So I have a friend coming by at 6.30 to create a drag number for an upcoming pageant. Um, and so I need to make my lemonade, do my daily tasks, my daily habits, um, and I need to run to Bed Bath & Beyond, which is like 20 blocks north of here, to exchange um, a scale. I'm gonna get rid of the old one and get a new one. In fact, as long as I'm going, Bed Bath & Beyond has a hassle-free, no questions asked return policy. I do not like this Brita filter. I much, 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 much prefer the Every Drop filter by um, by KitchenAid and what Whirlpool makes it. Look at look at how big look at how big this filter is. Look how much surface area you get here. I mean, like I could put fingers in. Like, look how big that is. The water just falls through it at record speed. Um, I wonder if you can get them on Amazon. If you can, I'll put the link in the box. If you, as I've said before, if you aren't excited to come home at night to your water filter, you don't have the right water filter. Um, all right, so 
water is boiling, I'm going to sanitize some old glass water bottles so that I can um, use them for the master cleanse. And I figure like, I don't really know how to sanitize these because I don't have um, a brush that can really reach in there and scrub these. So instead what I'm just gonna do is use my, I also am very excited by my hot water kettle. This is the Cuisinart um, Perfect Temp water kettle. It has like different buttons for different types of like, well, what are you making? Are you making green tea? Are you making oolong, black tea? Do you just want it boiling? Yeah, make it boil. So anyway, time to sanitize these bottles by pouring, pouring boiling water into them. I'm not even going to think in terms of I don't have time to do everything I have to do. I'm just going to make it happen. I am hoping they'll take this back. I can't actually find my receipt for the um, scale or for this, but Bed Bath & Beyond, they don't require a receipt. They're like, whatever, give it to me, we'll exchange it. So that scale plus this should equal enough to buy the upgraded version without coming out of pocket. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, I now have my food for the entire day, plus I have my lemons and my, my, my lemon juice and my maple syrup for the coming days ahead. It looks like I probably have enough lemon juice to get me through at least a week. So um, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to have time to run a Bed Bath & Beyond before meeting with my friend at 6.30 to help him with his number. So I'm probably just gonna go to bed that and beyond that afterwards. Um, so for now, I still need to do my journal, I need to shower, and I need to do my um, push-ups and my uh, mountain climbers and my flossing. So let's get to that right away.
Here's what I call the bullshit method. The sooner I get over and get, get through with this bullshit, the sooner I'm done. So the bullshit method is where I'm like, I'm just gonna do this bullshit and then it's done. Here we go. Let's get it over with. No more exercise needed for today because I've done it all. I fist you. So I'm gonna use that timer and see how long it takes me to floss. I guess we're gonna start from the two minutes it takes me to get the floss out of the package. Cause I mean, hey, that's part of flossing time, right? So we're now at two minutes, no, we're now uh, basically 20 seconds in. So let's say it takes about 30 seconds to get set up and let's see how fast. I'm gonna guess it takes me two minutes to do my whole mouth. No one looks good while flossing. Halfway there. All right, so that took three minutes from start to finish. And when I'm done, I like to put a little tea tree oil on my toothbrush to kind of like sanitize it for next time. I'm gonna end this because I have like a minute to hop out of the shower and get dressed and do my five minutes house cleaning. All right, see you soon, bye. All right, I just helped a uh, fellow drag queen with a number. It went really well, I'm really pleased. Um, and I was just thinking that I was doing it just, you know, just to do a favor for a friend. But then uh, he was like, hey, can I pay you? And I'm like, you don't have to. He's like, no, I was going to give you like 50 bucks. And I'm like, give me 50 bucks then. All right. Um, it's just funny. It's funny how like I have like a special skill. But then like I'll kind of feel like, oh, it was no big deal. I just were No, we put a lot of time and effort into it. And uh, I'm very happy that I just made money doing it. So anyway, I'm hopping a bike. I'm off to, um, oh shoot. There's one other thing I wanted to return. Anyway, whatever. Um, I'm off to Bed Bath & Beyond, hoping I can return these two things. So let's see how that goes. I'm home now. I didn't get much footage of the rest of my day, but I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and I was able to return uh, my scale and an old Brita filter, or Brita pitcher, that I was gonna give away or throw away. And it was like a $30 pitcher and they took it back like minus 20%. Like, dude, that's, you know? So I got to put that towards a new scale. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go through the setup of all of that right now. It's, it's late and I'm tired. Um, so I know I'm actually a little behind on my daily vlogging. I'm contemplating staying up late and editing one more. But I really think at this point I should just go to bed. Um, basically, I got home from Bed Bath & Beyond. I was going to get to work on some homework and some other stuff and catching up on my videos. And um, instead, I just felt the need for a nap. Not even like a nap. It was like a need to like reward myself with some like time to like veg. And I laid down to like watch an episode of Drag Race and I just knocked out for like two, I think even three hours. Um, and then I woke up and I edited my um, what I got from Amazon video, which is now like three days late, four days late, um, three days late. Um, it's really long. It's like a 30 minute episode. I got a lot of stuff last week and I cut out a lot of like storytelling and a lot of explanation. So I made it a really short video considering it, it should have been so much longer. Um, I'm just going to say I don't love my What I Got Wednesdays. I don't love my unboxing videos. So um, I am really open to your thoughts. If you guys are like, yeah, I'm never going to watch those, um, 
let me know. Otherwise, if you're like, you know what, it's kind of fun, it's long, but I don't have to watch it if I don't want to. It's kind of neat to see what you got and watch you unboxings. Let me know. Um, I know that there are people out there who like just like to watch people unboxing things. So I kind of, my thought was like, I may as well record that since I'm here opening stuff. But it's kind of becoming a little bit of an inconvenience. For example, my Master Cleanse, the maple syrup that I got, and I reordered my deodorant. Those came in a box, but like I just haven't gotten around to like opening them on camera. <clears throat> but I needed both of those things. So I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to open them and not. Um, so anyway, uh, we'll see if that makes the cut. But for the amount of time that went into it, it's kind of like now I'm going from seven daily from seven weekly videos to like an eighth weekly video so it just doesn't make a lot of sense but we'll see whether I keep it or not anyway I'm gonna go to bed um, and then in the morning I will um, I will do the rest of my editing but I should give you a quick update on what I did for my fitness challenge today alright so today I did a run not as soon as I woke up but kind of as soon as I was able um, daily habits, my morning pages, my flossing, my mountain climbers, my push-ups, my five minutes of house cleaning. Yes, I did that. My food log. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing really to log since I'm on day one of the Master Cleanse, though I did start with two Red Bulls. I will include that in the description for this video, so that counts as my food log. Um, my weigh-in, done. Progress photos. I haven't actually done any progress photos yet today. I'm actually just going to let myself skip that for today. Um, I don't want to be so rigid it breaks me, but like, it is 5 a.m. I don't want to ruin tomorrow by sleeping in late, so I am going to go to bed and then wake up tomorrow and start over another day. So we'll do a progress photo tomorrow. Anyway, um, bye.